Hello guys, my name's Craig. Welcome to the Slightly Unusual YouTube channel. It's nine o'clock on a Friday, which means it's time for my magic vlog. Now, once a week on a Friday at nine o'clock, I, I do a vlog. Now, this is just for magicians. So if you're a non-magician, feel free to watch, but it's not really something you're gonna be interested in. And today, I wanna talk about something that I see on Facebook groups and magic groups and places like the Magic Cafe all the time, but especially on Facebook. And I gotta be honest with you, this really pisses me off and I don't understand why magicians do it. And, and let me explain what I'm talking about here. Every week, and I, as long back as I can remember, I will see a post on a group and somebody will say, hey, I've got a gig tomorrow. And, uh, and it's for this type of audience. Can anybody give me some advice on what sort of tricks I should be doing? Or I've, I've, I've just took a booking for a stage show next week and uh, it's for a thousand people and I've only ever done close up before. What do you think I should put in my act? Or hey, I've got a kid show. I've been asked to do a kid show. I've only ever done close up before, but I've got a kid show in two days time and uh, I haven't really put any thought into it. Will ambitious card work? Any variation of these posts, it really, really, really drives me nuts. And let me explain why. Let me explain why. Magic is an art. Now we've all been there when we've met a magi we've met a, 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 a lay person at an event, and they've kind of been a bit standoffish about magic. And we uh, we show them our stuff, and afterwards they come up to us and they go, "Well, I didn't think I liked magic, but I actually like you." What they're saying is they've seen a shit magician. Now that magician, that, because because that was their experience, they decided that they didn't like magic based on seeing a magician and they've changed their mind. It doesn't mean you are the next com second coming. It doesn't mean like you're, you're Dynamo 2.0. It just means <laughs> you've done a good job and all they've seen before in the past was shit. And that's the problem. The problem is there are so many magicians out there that half art it with no experience. Now I'm all for... Um, people uh, becoming professionals. Now, I'm all for people learning how to do magic and going out there and making mistakes. The only way you can get better as a performer is by making mistakes. I have lost count of the amount of times that I've died on my arse. And every single time I've died on stage, I've got better and I've learned from it and it's made me a better performer. And that's fine, but here's the thing. It has to be done in the right time and the right place. We have to treat our clients and our customers with respect because if we don't, they'll never book a magician again and it screws the whole industry up. So if you are a close-up magician, for example, and all you've ever done up until this point is close-up magic, it's a completely different thing going and doing a stage show for 500 people. You aren't going to be able to rock up on stage and do your ambitious card. You need to learn about, you know, there's so much to learn about when you become a stage magician. You have to learn about where to stand and where to put your props. You have to learn about uh, uh, sound, projecting your voice. You have to learn about the technical side of it. There's so much to learn outside of just working out what effects are best and what effects aren't best. It's the same for a kid's show. If you've never performed for kids before, it is a ridiculously difficult thing to do unless you know what you're doing. It's, it's the same if, you've, if you're an amateur or you're a hobbyist, that's amazing. My son is an amateur, my son is a hobbyist, and that's cool. And I know that you wanna go out and perform, and that's amazing, and that's great, and go out and perform. There's so many different places you can go out and perform. Go and offer your services to free or cheaply to care homes, or, or there's a million places. Go and perform for friends, go and do street magic. There's a, you'll be David Blaine 2.0, learn how to be a better magician. But what you don't want to do what you don't want to do is get a phone call saying hey uh, I need a magician in three days time uh, to do this type of event can you do this for me yes I can and then you, you 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 go on a Facebook group and you go help help what effects should I do if you need to ask about the effects that you need to do at an event that's taking place in one two three days a week's time you aren't ready to do that gig now it would be a different conversation if you had a Facebook post that was going on saying, hey, I've just took a gig for six months time. I, 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 I've got six months to put this act together. This is where I am. 
This is where I need to be to service that client. What can I do? And you're prepared to work hard and boom, 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 and that's fine. I remember I, when, I did, uh, when I decided I wanted to be a stage performer, uh, the first real proper stage gig that I did was when I went to the Brighton Fringe. And it took me almost a year of constant practice. I went to a local club and I, I bought illusions and I stored them in his room. And I went there every day and I practiced and I rehearsed and I got better and better and better. And even then, when I went out and did the show for the first time at the Brighton Fringe, I look back now and it was terrible. Um, because you improve and you get better and you get better and you get better. So if you're giving yourself a time frame, that's fine. But it pisses me off when somebody goes on in a Facebook group and says, Hey, I've never done this. What, what should I do? What should I do? I've never done this. I've taken the client's money. I, I, now I need to do something. I don't know what to do. Seriously, Facebook is an amazing resource. But if you've got a limited amount of time, you shouldn't have took that person's money. Or you should have said, look, here's the thing. I've never done what you're asking me to do. Now, I could try and do it, but it's going to be something that I've never done before. And I want you to know ahead of that ahead of time. Or even better, decline it. And then if, you, if that's an area that you want to learn to do, then put the practice in and then go and market yourself to do that thing. But don't, don't, please for the love of God, if you've got a, a, a particular skill set and then you get an inquiry for three days time, four days time for a gig, that's a completely different skill set. You have to make sure that you are prepared for it and you're not going to be in four days time. Don't be the dick that goes onto the Facebook group saying, help, what am I going to do in two days time? That's the fuck off. It's just not right. You want to get better. Perfect. Magic needs amazing performers. Magic need people that people that can diversify. And that's awesome. And that's great. But make sure, and this is so important, make sure that you are prepared. Make sure if you want to be a kid's entertainer, awesome. Be a kid's entertainer. That's amazing. But don't think that you can take your, if you've been the guy that's done close up your entire life and you've never performed for a kid's audience in your life, don't think that you can immediately go and do that show because you can't. It would be easier to give it to somebody else or give yourself a longer time frame to prepare for it. It's as simple as that. Okay, that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. I'd really love to know your opinion. But in my opinion, it's it's it, it doing a disservice to our clients and our customers and it, it's affecting the whole of magic and how it's perceived by laymen and muggles. Anyway, that's, um, that's, that's my opinion. Doesn't mean it's right, but that's, uh, that's my opinion. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. I put videos up every single day. So if you like magic, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. My name's Craig from Slightly Unusual.